Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Carl here and today we're running some errands, but uh, one of the stops is going to be for what this video is about. I just had an idea today and I'm running with it. So as you guys know, for the past, I don't know, a couple months, I've been really focusing on organization of like tools and stuff like that. And now we're going to be building off of that where I got to organize the hardware, like the nuts and bolts and clips and all that, all the extras that you know that i have so in case i do need them they're easy to find you know what i mean i'm not running the hardware store just spending all kinds of money on hardware because i simply couldn't find what i had you know that i already had put away so we're gonna stop at harbor freight because i think we're gonna buy some ammo boxes and then we uh we're gonna use those to organize everything but i i want to make this video because i want to show you guys how i am organizing everything and later on in another video there will be one where we organize this truck because there is so much i mean there's garbage but there's just so much ratchet straps and uh, fuel additives and all kinds of stuff that just laying around back there and it needs to have a place because it drives me insane because i can never find anything in this truck all right so we stopped at harbor freight here and this is what i picked up i picked up their ammo boxes so i got two of the large size which is their 50 cal size and then i got two of the small i think they were 30 caliber or let's see if they say yeah 30 caliber size so the idea here is the the smaller ones are going to be used for like wood screws and the other one's going to be used for nails right and then the big boxes are going to be used for uh one's going to be auto body bolts and screws the other one's going to be auto body just plastic clips in general because i got a lot to sort through and i think these are going to be the best solution especially when you can label them and you just see the label and you're like okay i need that box right and you you know you have what you got you know what i mean and then also i want to show you something really cool that i <laughs> picked up oh it's inside this one okay uh i was just in the checkout line you know how they always have the gimmick shit right well look at this i didn't know they make a pittsburgh bottle opener slash wrench now i don't even know oh it is it does say it's a five eights on the end i mean that's pretty freaking cool and it was only like two dollars which i'm sure if snap-on came out with something like this it would be fifty dollars but you know but yeah, so let's uh, head home and then we'll see how everything's going to work. And conveniently, the smaller ones fit exactly perfectly inside the bigger ones. All right, so I got all four boxes laid out and this is what we're working with. I got a whole tub of just a bunch of miscellaneous screws, nails, you know, brass fittings, all that kind of stuff. And then over here... In that box is all automotive screws, plastic clips, you know, miscellaneous stuff there. So I'm trying to get rid of these boxes here and they're going to be, everything is going to be put in here. And really what I'm doing is I'm sorting out all the good stuff from the bad. So if I, if it's stuff I don't need or don't want, like all these brackets or rusty, you know, hardware, they're going in the scrap bin. So that's kind of what we're doing here. And uh, so I'm going to get I'm going to get working on this bin. All right. I got an update for you. It looks like there's a lot in there, but actually we did start to fill these up pretty good. And uh, I started going through just the auto body stuff I have. And, you know, we're, we're making progress. So this actually took me a couple hours to do this much, but it's all going to be worth it in the end because it's all going to be organized and you know i won't have to be digging through all this because all the plastic is you know all the plastic sorted out so we all know clips and you know like body plugs and all that are in there and then we know all bolts are in here i should have bought one more so because i got a bunch of uh um let's see here if i can find it find some but i got a bunch of nuts in here too like body body nuts <laughs> course when i want to show you you know whatever anyways you know what i'm oh i mean like just like like this kind of stuff you know these kind of nuts with the washers built in uh we got a lot of those in there so i wish i would have had another bin because it's nice to separate all this out yeah there's a lot of stuff in this bin uh especially where when i was a tech 
you know, all that stuff was at the bottom, so it was hard to find. And there was a lot of clips that I needed, like these, these like these style clips, you know, they're mainly on GM vehicles. And once you take the moldings off, those the heads on the those clips always snap. And I have like tons of them in there. I'm like, oh man. But uh, yeah, I'm making progress. I'll have an update in a little bit here. I got an update here, so we're almost down on this box. And uh, I guess I I had less bolts than I thought, but definitely a lot of clips though. We're filling this thing up pretty fast here. So, you know, we got a little bit to do there and a little bit to do here, but I gotta run to Harbor Freight because I need I want another box because I got a lot of nuts to sort out. So that those will all go in. I'm probably just gonna buy one of the smaller ones for those. And then those will all go in there. I think even with the J clips and the weird clips with studs, they're all just gonna go together just because it, it'll make everything easier that way. But yeah, we're almost there. We're making good progress. So let's go to Harbor Freight. I made it to Harbor Freight, but uh, before I go in, I want to give a quick update on the Saturn. So I did drop it off at the mechanical shop a couple hours ago and uh, definitely need alignment. So either way, it ha had to go to a mechanical shop and uh and then they can just look over the brakes real quick you know if they got to re-bleed them whatever they got to do to get the pedal firm i'm you know i'm cool with and uh do an alignment and then the saturn's gonna be good to go for a while so i'll let you know when i pick it up and see how everything is um but uh stay tuned on that back from Harbor Prey, we got another little ammo box so let's sort out the rest and get this done I sifted through the rest of the boxes and I uh, got everything organized, labeled, and all they're gonna do, all these boxes are gonna do is just sit right there. And uh, I think this is a great idea because one, it was cheap. You know, these boxes at Harbor Freight aren't that expensive, but two, you can stay organized and you can take these anywhere you need to go. So say you're working on your rental property and you need screws, right? There you go. You got a whole thing. Take it with you. You know, even if you went and bought a new box of screws, throw them in there and, you know, you're good to go. So I'm happy how everything turned out. And the reason I'm doing this is because, one, it's going to be a really busy summer. I mean, we're just going to be working on, you know, the Camaro, you know, doing the maintenance on all the other cars. But also one of my friends, I think we're going to be, we're going to end up buying some auction cars and fixing them up. I don't know if we're just gonna do it to flip them or if we're gonna keep them. You know, I don't know the plans yet on that, but it's gonna be nice to have all these automotive clips and all these bolts in case, you know, we got missing hardware and cars and we can definitely dig through and find a way to make it work. So thanks for watching everybody. I hope you kind of get a little inspiration out of this and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.